Um, praise God. Uh, my name is Kavete Mutia, and by the grace of God, I'm a member of this church, and I'm also the team's coordinator for the church. Um, before we begin, I'd like us to start with a word of prayer. So let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this evening. We want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace and for your love throughout the week, King of Glory. Even, Lord, as we reach, Lord, the middle of the week, Lord of Lord, you have been faithful even when we haven't been King of Glory. We thank you, King of Glory, for the love, Lord, that you keep showing us, Jehovah. Heavenly Father, even as we come before you this evening, we want to ask, Lord of Lords, that you enable us, King of Glory, to listen from you, King of Glory, and may the word, Lord, that you have for us, Lord, enrich our hearts, Lord of Lords, even as we become a light for others, Heavenly Father. Whatever we have done, Lord of Lords, to just go against your will, King of Glory. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you forgive us, King of Glory. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you pick us, Lord, from wherever, Lord of Lords, that we might have gone against you. We thank you and glorify your holy name. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Today's word comes from the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 32. And I will read. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the call which you were called, with all loneliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body and there is one spirit just as you are called in one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is above all and through all is in you all but to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of christ's gift therefore he says when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and he gave gifts to men not this he ascended. What does it mean but that he also first descended into the lowly parts of the earth? He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. For the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and from and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceit plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow in all things into him who is the head, a Christ, from whom the holy body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective work by which every part does it share, causes growth of the body of the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the fertility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that it is in them, because of the blindness it is in their hearts, who being past feeling have given themselves over to the lewdness to work all uncleanness with greediness, but you have not so learned Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in Christ that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceit's lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his, with his neighbor. For we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer. But rather let him labor working with his hands. What is good that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. But what is good for the necessary edification that is that may impact grace to the hearers and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. And that is the word of the Lord. 
Um, in Ephesians chapter 4, Paul is talking about the grace that God has given us. And in so doing, Jesus Christ came and died for our sins. He came and gave us grace to be new creatures in him. So, um, Paul is talking about the grace that God gave us. Kama watu wenye tunakuanga tu. Unajua sometimes, us as Christians are the ones who make other non-Christians not come to church. Because same grace that God gave us when we became we became new in him. That same grace that we are asked, that Paul is asking the Ephesians to have when it comes to one another. That same grace had to extend to others. Umekuja kanisa, ama someone is coming to church, and maybe kuna tu vile, like, you know, you don't like the way they dress, you don't like the way they have dreads in their head, you don't like their tattoos. You become a person who is seeing their faults, and not the fact that they took the first step to come to church. And that is mostly what happens with us Christians. We are the people who do not allow others to come to church. Because we have become people who are judgmental. Tumekua watu wenye, mtu wakikuja church, unataka kuje na holier than thou kind of attitude. And in so doing, we miss the fact that Jesus Christ did not come to claim the righteous, but to pick the people who are all over. The people who were corrupt. The people who were stealing. Liars. Sinners. And when Jesus Christ came to, to save. Because if you are righteous, then you do not need any saving. But us as Christians, we have become a people of pretenders. Because we do not, we do not want to think about the past that we had. The things that we used to do formally before we became Christians. Unona too because we get saved na ukapewa grace from now henceforth because we have been told we are new creatures. We need to walk and speak in that grace. But how do you lift somebody else from where they are if you do not extend the same grace to them? And that is why when, when sometimes like for example if you are somebody who used to drink alcohol. And you see somebody else who is staggering all over. Unakwanga ni kama you do not want to be associated with these people. So what you do, ukimpata, unampita. You do not preach the gospel to them. Because for you, you do not want to remember. And that is why you will hear most Christians say, they never did anything, hawakuwa watu wakufanya makosa na dhambi. Because that is a life you do not want to be associated with. But how do you pull someone if you do not tell them, by the way, kuna vile, I used to struggle. Sometimes even now I still have those struggles. But by the grace of God, he showed me something new. He showed me a better way of doing things. How do you tell somebody that you need to come to Christ if you are the person who is being judgmental? You are the person who is making others feel that when they come to church and you have to do things a certain way, you have to dress a certain way, you have to be ABCD. Na ya mekuja church for acceptance. But that is not what we do. That is not who we are. And Paul is asking the Ephesians, by the same grace that God gave you, by that same grace, can you extend the same grace to others? And from there, utonatu watakuwa more inclined kukuja kanisa. You will find that people are more inclined to be open about their struggles, to be open about what they are going through. Because at least they understand that somebody in church, anawailewa na anelewa what it is they are going through. And in so doing, at least unajua, it becomes better. We are all different parts of the same body. A hand will not do the same work as a foot. Your eyes are there to see. So see whatever it is you are being told to see. And if you cannot see, like, like it's true what we are, we are told, that different parts of the body have different functions. So if your function is to serve, can you serve? If your function is to be an apostle, can you be an apostle? If your 
if you have been given the grace to teach, can you teach? We have been given different functions and each to each his or her own. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are equal but not the same. So in the same measure that you have been given that grace, can you extend it to others? And when, when I'm talking about this, I remember the story of the prodigal son. When he went and came back. And when he came back, um, babake venya ali, ali, ali chukua a sheep, aka, aka fanya nini, aka chinjia that, the younger son. And the older son, aka nuna. Naka uliza, dad, by the way, kwa nini ye unataka kumfanya BCD, na mimi nimekuwa hapa na ujai nifanya. Isn't that the same attitude we always have when it comes to accepting others into church? Like we know that because we make to church all your life, you have been here since the beginning of time. You 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 feel that holier than thou. Your righteousness in you But if you are that righteous, then can you extend it? Because you are able to accept the differences that people have. You are able to accept. That this is person mwenye alikuwa meenda, amepotea njia, na amerudi. Badala kumuangelelea kwa, kwa kanisa. Instead of talking to, about them behind their backs. Can we be the people who are extending grace? Yes, you had uh, uliku umepotea njia na umerudi. Welcome back. And after that, let's also not be people who are, as I said, talking behind other people's backs. Mtu wakipotea na arudi, welcome them with open arms. Extend that grace. Just like Jesus Christ extended it to you. Makosa yako si makosa yangu. Makosa ya mtu mwingine si makosa yangu. But at the end of the day, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. So if God has forgiven you, who are you not to extend the same kind of forgiveness to others? Who are you not to extend the same grace that God gave you? Because wezi niambia all your life, umeka place, and you have been here in church. And like hakuna kitu umewa ifanya. Umedanganya. You know, we are liars, so to speak. But we say there are white lies and I think there are black lies. White lies ni ile uko kwa nyumba, um, utaki kwenda mahali, but utapi, mtu waki kupigia simu. Sasa uko wapi? Niko tao. Na unajua uko kwa nyumba. That is a lie. But you don't see those kind of lies. The, the lies that we see are the ones that ni kama like ameiba amevaska tfupi anatembea anga pale koinange hizo those are the those are the scenes we see but these small small lies are also lies in our own way so this evening i want us to be encouraged i want us to pray and ask our father to forgive us for the extensions that we like like for not extending the grace to others in the same measure the book of ephesians all of it talks about the grace of god and the moments that we fail short but he still extends that grace so if he's extending that grace to us may we also extend the same grace to others so that we can pull them closer to god so that we can pull them back to church so with that um, I would like us to make a prayer. Uh, so let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this wonderful evening. We ask, Heavenly Father, for you to forgive us, King of Glory, for the times, Lord of Lord, that we have failed to uplift others, for the times, Lord of Lords, we have been judgmental, for the times, King of Glory, that we have pushed others away from you instead of pulling them to you, King of Glory. Help us, King of Glory, extend the same grace that you have given us. Help us, King of Glory, extend the same grace, King of Glory, that you have showed to us, to others. So that, Heavenly Father, for the glory and honor of your name, we thank you and glorify your holy name. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. God bless.